the last day of filming, it's with a tear in my eye that drops into the hand of the little girl who catches it and looks up at me and says, Why so sad, mister? I don't know. Not happy in my work, I guess. Why is that? Well, since you asked, sometimes I wish that I... And Jerry walks over. What's going on, Garland? The strange little girl tells him, Jeff's sad. I don't think he gets enough satisfaction with his work. I also think he feels old and that he hasn't accomplished enough. <laughs> I look at her and I say, I never said that. <laughs> Jerry then puts his arm around me and says, I really can't associate with any of that. I look much younger than my age, and I'm immensely successful. <laughs> Michael, Julie, and Jason walk over. Jerry tells them, Jeff is jealous of my success with your look. <laughs> I never said that! <laughs> then the four of them hug and tell me it will be all right. Larry comes over. Why are you hugging him? He asks. <laughs> Julia looks at Larry angrily and says, Because you won't. I shout, I never said that! <laughs> Larry replies, I know you didn't, Jeff. You just were daydreaming all this. Susie and Cheryl walk over and Susie says, Is he creating another one of those fucking stupid scenarios in his imagination again? <laughs> then the little girl looks up at me and says, Ignore her. I'm real. And because I caught your teardrop, you can have any wish you want. There's only one caveat. It can't include the word lotion. I bend down and whisper my wish in her ear, and she replies, That's it? That's all you want? That's it, I say. Done. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm going to leave now. Bye. And with that, she flies off, and we all wave goodbye to her. Larry says, I like that little girl. <laughs> I really did. I'm going to miss her. She really affected me. You know what? I'm going to rename my production company Rainbow and Lollipop Production. And in honor of that for lunch today, I'm going to serve up some fresh grilled rainbows and lollipops. Then Susie says, I'm never going to swear again. By the way, if I tell you what I wish for, it won't happen. Okay, so we didn't have rainbows and lollipops for lunch. Actually, in the last day of filming, they always serve all kinds of great food. Steak and sushi and all sorts of good stuff. And I have a little bit of everything from every little world they created, as if I'm back at Disneyland. I think, okay, I'll start fresh tomorrow, which I say a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, I do that a lot, hanging out. On, uh, I did that when I was a kid in school, and I do that even when I'm at Curb Your Enthusiasm. I uh, create scenarios in my head, and that was one that I <laughs> created. I, I'm going to put this in the book. <laughs> Yeah, but that's the only, th everything else is true. In the book. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, that's it, and I would, uh, thank you very much. Um, and I would like to, uh, before I sign, I would like to answer any questions that you have about the book, about Curb, anything that I might have an answer that you would want to hear. So anything, go ahead and ask. Yes. Oh, is Susie really like that in real life? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, she's, she's a great friend. She's a trusted confidant of mine, and she's not remotely like that, actually. Sorry. To, yes? My favorite line, if you, if you can say it, Oscar is lethargic. <laughs> My, your favorite line is when I said Oscar's lethargic? <laughs> I love that. Okay. Did I say it in a certain way? I don't know. You're near the refrigerator and you're whispering to Larry. Oscar's lethargic? Oh, I, is that, that's the Wandering Bear episode. Yes. Okay, because yes. he got hit by a car. Yes. Right, okay. I never remember what these are from. <laughs> uh, yes. Is there going to be a season eight? Um, Larry's writing it right now, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Larry is wealthy. Very well. <laughs> uh, therefore, the reason that our show maintains a high level of quality, his only motivation is if he has something funny that he wants to present in terms of the show. So um, he's writing right now, but if he doesn't like it, you know, he has to write like six, seven episodes before he goes, yeah, we'll do it. So he's only written like two, so I don't know. It looks, I'd say 6139. Uh, yeah, we will. So there you go. Yes. How much weight have you lost so far? Well, you know, I'm going to answer you. Well, I, of course, I'll ask you honestly. <laughs> I don't know because I don't weigh myself. Um, I am not obsessed with how much I weigh. I am obsessed with. See, I approach it like I'm an addict. So I haven't had sugar in over the, a year. I haven't had uh, fast food in over a year. And my feeling is, if I ever touch any of that, I will do that again. So I approach it real seriously. So as long as my shirts keep getting big on me, 
and my pants keep getting big on me and I have to get smaller pants and smaller shirts, I'm good. And I feel good and uh, I'm losing fat and getting muscle mass. I don't care how much I weigh. So I have no idea. That's really... I mean, who wants to stand? Oh, I weigh the. But then, you know, it's like, how much of it is fat? You know, you can weigh 180 and I could be in much better shape than you if you have no muscle mass. So it doesn't matter. All right? Yes? Um, how long have you known Larry David and how did you meet him? I met Larry David uh, in. Uh, um, I met him in Chicago, actually. He was coming through town. He wanted to see Comiskey Park before they tore it down. That's where they met. And I recognized him from Fridays. It was a show he used to be on. And I knew he was a stand-up, you know. And then I moved to New York after that, and we um, uh, uh, we never hung out in New York, but we were acquaintances. I like using that word. Everyone in Hollywood loves to throw friends around. We were acquaintances. Now we're friends. But we were acquaintances. <laughs> yes. When was the last time you were at Third Coast Coffee? Holy shit, that's a quite a question. She asked me when was the last time I was at Third Coast Coffee House. It's in Chicago. Uh, did you still work there? Do you like, oh, I, I sat with you there. I remember you. <laughs> Holy shit, that's right. We were at dinner with um, uh, Gay Talese. Right, okay, there you go. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I've been there a few times since then, actually. There you go, I've been there a few times. And uh, I, uh, yeah, it's my favorite place. As a matter of fact, a friend of mine, Whitney Cummings, this really smart, funny comedian, mm -hmm. she uh, just performed in Chicago. And I said, you, uh, you, did you go to Third Coast? And she was there every day. So, there you go. Hi. I went there on Saturday. What's that? I went there on Saturday. Oh, you went there on Saturday. So there you go. It's a, if you're in Chicago on Dearborn, Third Coast, I highly recommend it. It's, it's got a vibe like this store. It'll make you happy. Yes. In your reading, you, you uh, said the quote, if not now, when? If not uh, now, when? Which yeah. is actually Hillel uh, from is the Talmud. Right? It's a Jewish quote. I didn't know if you knew that. It's or? probably in my DNA, man. <laughs> <laughs> did, you go to he, did you go to Hebrew school? I went to Hebrew school, but... I uh, never was taught, if not now, when. Um, but I'm sure that's, that's, a, that's, a thing, that's a Jewish thing to say. If not now, when? Come on! <laughs> so there you go. But I didn't know that it was you know, that way. Okay, good. Yes? <laughs> no, you! Okay. Only person raising their hand. <laughs> you. Um, my favorite line is, uh, cop, cop, jism, drum, cop. <laughs> cop, Is that how I said it? Yeah. Oh. Where, where did you come up with that? Well, did you hear the last thing that I read? I just, it, it rolls around in there. But my favorite thing was I did two takes on that, and after the first take, I swear to God, Jerry, I mean, Larry walked up to me and went, uh, one less grandma, one less cock. <laughs> you know you have a great job when someone says to you, one less grandma, one less cock. And so, yeah. All right, uh, yes? Do uh, you have any other uh, shows or movies coming up? I do. I have two movies. Uh, one is, um, you know, uh, I don't want to say it. You're taping, so it's all. It's a wonderful movie. It's called, 